The movie starts by introducing a girl named Kim Ai Yong. She lives in a simple apartment with her younger sister. Their parents passed away a few years ago, so they are orphans. Ai Yong, who is only 23, has to work part-time at a coffee shop to support herself and her 8-year-old sister. Because she doesn't have a great education, she struggles to make enough money. She often can't pay the rent on time, and the apartment owner threatens to make them leave if they don't pay up. One day, as Ai Yong is on her way to work, she accidentally bumps into her little sister, Dunby, who is having a fight with two other girls. These girls are teasing Dunby because she doesn't have a dad. Ai Yong steps in and stops the fight. She tries to comfort Dunby so that her sister doesn't feel sad anymore. When Ai Yong arrives at work, she shares all her troubles with her good friend Yu Chuho. They've been close for more than seven years. After hearing Ai Yong's story, Juho offers to let Ai Yong and Dung Bi live at his place so they don't have to pay rent. But Ai Yong politely turns down the offer because she doesn't want to bother Juho. Next, the scene changes, and we see Dung Bi standing by the restaurant window, watching a little girl eating with her dad inside. Her actions disturb the restaurant's customers, and a male employee scolds her in a rude way and tells her to leave. However, suddenly a man named Sul Yu Sung steps in and defends Dung Bi. Yu Sung then kindly invites Dung Bi to have lunch at the restaurant, and she accepts. During lunch, Dung Bi tells Yu Sung that she wasn't staring at the little girl because of her food but because of her father. Dung Bi reveals that she's an orphan and wishes she had a father to be with her. Hearing this, Yu Sung looks surprised and feels sorry for Dung Bi at the same time. That night, Dung Bi tells Ai Yong about her lunch with Yu Sung. Ai Yong is surprised that someone so kind treated her sister to lunch even though they didn't know each other. A few days later, Yu Sung appears at Ai Yong's workplace and makes an offer. He's a well-off man and is willing to take care of all their needs and support them financially, but in return, he wants them to be like his daughters. He gives Ai Yong an agreement letter and some time to think about it. That evening, Ai Yong talks to Ju Ho about the offer. Ju Ho is surprised that a stranger wants to provide financial help suddenly. He advises Ai Yong to decline the offer, because it means they would have to live together. But Ai Yong feels she has no other choice because she's struggling to make ends meet. Shortly after, Ai Yong signs the agreement and moves into Yu Sung's large house. Yu Sung is the CEO of a big company and has been living alone. The next day, Ai Yong tells Ju Ho that she and Dun Bi are now living with Yu Sung. Ju Ho is annoyed but understands it's Ai Yong's decision, driven by her sister's longing for a father figure. Yu Sung and Ai Yong discuss the rules they must follow while staying in his house. One day, while Ai Yong was hanging up laundry, she met a middle-aged man who was going to Yu Sung's house. Yu Sung introduced the man as his uncle. However, Yu Sung's uncle was surprised to see a woman at Yu Sung's house and asked about it. To keep their relationship a secret and avoid causing trouble for his company, Yu Sung told his uncle that Ai Yong was a housekeeper working there. His uncle seemed to believe him but later asked his assistant to find out more about Ai Yong. Yu Sung felt guilty for calling her a maid and apologized, but Ai Yong didn't mind because she understood his reasons. As time passed, Yu Sung and Ai Yong grew closer. They even went to places together and had heartfelt conversations. However, they didn't know that someone was secretly taking pictures of their moments together, including when they were with Dun Bi, who looked very happy. One day, Ai Yong was getting ready for her friend's wedding and wore a beautiful dress. Yu Sung was stunned by her beauty in the dress. That night, Juho planned to take Ai Yong home, but on the way, Ai Yong saw an article about her and Yu Song going viral on social media. She felt guilty for causing trouble for Yu Song, which could affect his company. Juho became even more concerned about the safety of Ai Yong and Dun Bi, who were living with Yu Song. Not long after, Yu Song came to see Ai Yong and looked worried about her. But Juho immediately spoke up and said he would protect Ai Yong and Dun Bi from now on. He also openly admitted that he loved Ai Yong. Yu Sung, not wanting to lose, told Ai Yong that he would cancel her contract as father and daughter and wanted to be her life partner instead. Then he left. Ai Yong asked Ju Ho about his feelings and he said he'd loved her for a long time. Ai Yong was surprised because she didn't know Ju Ho felt that way. She bravely told Ju Ho that she only saw him as a friend, nothing more. She felt sorry for him because he had been so kind to her but she believed it was best to be honest. Afterward, Ai Yong rushed to Yu Song and said she was ready to make a new contract as his life partner. She was willing to wait for Yu Song to solve their relationship problems, which could affect his company. 
they decided to separate for a while, and Ai Yang went back to her part-time job at the coffee shop to make ends meet. In short, a few months later, Yu Song returned and visited Ai Yang at her workplace. Ai Yang was thrilled to be reunited with him after so long. They expressed their love by hugging each other affectionately. Yu Song then proposed to Ai Yang, and she happily accepted. So the moral of the story is when life gives you options like becoming a free housekeeper or marrying a CEO, always check if there's a hidden camera crew following you around. And don't forget, love can be as unpredictable as a dress that stuns people into proposal mode at weddings.